On December 8th, that is the Feast of the Immaculate Conception in the year 1870, Pope Blessed Pius IX declared St. Joseph to be the patron of the Universal Church. And so, last year, on December 8th, Pope Francis, uh, for this 150th anniversary of St. Joseph being named patron of the Universal Church, uh, has declared uh, this year to be the year of St. Joseph. So the entire Universal Church turns her gaze in a particular way to St. Joseph uh, for this year. And the title of the document with which Pope Francis declared this the year of St. Joseph is called uh, Patris Corde, that is, with a father's heart. And he begins this document by saying, with a father's heart, that is how Joseph loved Jesus, whom all four Gospels refer to as the son of Joseph. So with a father's heart. And then there's a quote from St. Paul VI, which explains uh, what this fatherly heart and this fatherly love uh, in St. Joseph was like, that is, by making his life a sacrificial service to the mystery of the incarnation and its redemptive purpose. This kind of brings us to today's gospel uh, where our Lord is grieving at the Pharisees. And why? Because of their hardness of heart. You see, these were the spiritual leaders at the time. They should have had uh, a, the heart of a spiritual father, okay, which is one, uh, like St. Joseph, uh, one dedicated to sacrificial service, okay, instead of uh, service ordered to themselves, right? They were in it for their own aggrandizement, their own uh, financial gain, and all of that. Pope St. Paul VI goes on to say, St. Joseph employed his legal authority over the Holy Family to devote himself completely to them in his life and work. So we have sacrificial service and then complete devotion to them. He turned his human vocation to domestic love into a superhuman oblation of himself that is an oblation, a sacrifice, which is um, elevated by the grace of God. His heart and all his abilities, a love placed at the service of the Messiah who is growing to maturity in his home. So this is a wonderful example we have of St. Joseph and uh, the love in his heart, which l leads him to uh, make of himself and of his life uh, a loving sacrifice of service to his son, uh, to the Immaculate, um, embracing his vocation, his mission that God had given him. And it is a, a good model for all of us, right, that our lives, in, in imitation of the life of the Son of God who came uh, not to be served but to serve, uh, that we should lay down our lives in sacrificial, loving service to one another according to our particular vocation. Saint Joseph, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.